So guys, this is the place that all these, well, one of the places these Sari Sari stores come to for the kids' sweets and they buy these great big bags. Look, I love these. <laughs> I'm a big kid. I love them. I love them. I love these beans. I love them. Yeah. And these, look. These are to die for. They are absolute. Really? You can sell one or one peso. Peso. Yeah. Oh. Ask how much they are as well. So are these two hundred as well. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll get we'll get a bag of them. These when we come back. Yeah. Yeah, because we can give a few sweets to the kids, can't we? Yeah. Just put them in little bags and. We can get the one that we. I uh, know. Remember we put uh, baking soda. We can put that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we're going to the fish market. It's down here. And to get the fish market, there's all different ways to come in here. Oh look, there's some more, more kids. Uh, Kids sweets. Right. Yeah, I can't talk. So the Sari Sari store owners come to the main market, the buying bulk, then they split them up. And like one of them jellies would be a peso. And they, they make quite a bit on the bag, don't they? Yeah. Selling them for a peso though. Yeah. I mean obviously not them little uh, bean things. There'd be a handful of them in a bag. Did you try that before? The beans? Yeah, yeah they're lovely. Yeah? Yeah, they're yeah. very fattening though because they're full same? of sugar. Are you sure that one? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, we're getting to the fish market. I knew it, I can smell the... Oh, quickly. So the dried fish, it makes me want to puke, honestly. Very hey. Oh, <laughs> very Maserat. M yeah. Move fast and pay. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh. No, I'm, I'm physically wanting to heave, guys. I'm not joking. Wrong way. Wrong way? That's, that's the na name of our Chinese restaurant, isn't it? Wrong way. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Don't say that if someone, I know. You remember someone's comment? Respect the food of the Philippines. Respect the food of the Philippines. Not, I respect all the food, even the dry fish. I just don't like it and don't want to eat it. So it's um, about 20 to 2 in the afternoon. That's not right, is it? Yes. Babe, is that the right time? Yeah. And you have to come at this time of day for the fish, apparently, because until now they don't bring the fish. Yes, I know it's a mixture. It's a mixture of things, yeah. Mixture and then the new beer. Do you know what? I can't hear it. It's a mixture. It's not a fish. Oh, a meat shop. Oh my God. I tell you, I'm going senile and death. So, as you can see, the meat's about gone. There's a lot of stalls empty. If you want to come and get really fresh, guys, obviously, Common sense dictates you come early in the morning because that's when the stores are full with the fresh meat. And when the day rolls on with the heat and stuff, it's not that fresh. She's taking me on a merry dance here. Only two hours later, we arrive at the fish shop. Be careful and stay ready. Glossy fish, we want a big fish though. That's a big fish, babe. That's a big fish. Ah, over there. The floor is extremely slippery, guys. Oh my god. Oh, these are big. What are these? 
You don't, you don't what? It's what kind of fish is it? Like this. Or tilapia. All right. But they look like they're just, they're just that size. Yeah. So we could get two, two of them then, couldn't we? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you how much. I'm gonna ask you how much. Yeah. We're gonna give you an a kilo. A kilo. Yeah. What do you think? There is some kilos there. Shall we get two of the biggest ones? Then? Yeah. What? You want to buy now? Or you can walk around? No. I want to walk around all day because I love walking around with you, babe. Come on, let's go. We'll be back soon, I think. I know we will. So it's bustling here, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. Oh, look at the squid. They're pouring ice cold water on them to keep them fresh. It's not keeping the flies off them now. So this. All right. Okay. So ask, ask her how much that is before we go down the stairs. See, I should keep away. Now, I know I sound like a broken record, guys, but in some circumstance, to see the foreigner, and they will put the price up a bit, because they know you don't know how much it is, and you're a foreigner, so you're rich, right? Salapia. Oh, they're still alive. Oh, that's good. So what would you rather have, that or tilapia? That one? I don't know. 100 kilos. Oh, so it's cheaper? Yeah. I don't know if I've tried it, babe. I might have tried it. I, I, I tried a fish, right? You know when you see cartoons and they eat the fish and the skeleton's left and it's in the shape of a fish? Well, the fish I ate were just like that. The bone was in the middle. It might be. It might be. Shall we go that one? Yeah. Well, if, I thought you were more interested in that. Okay, baby, go on then. Oh my God. She, she's still alive. Yeah, no. She's she's getting very bossy these days, guys. As time goes on. One ten. One ten. So that's cheaper a kilo then. Yeah. So there you go guys, see? Fools rush in. I was gonna rush in. I was gonna buy it and I'd have chucked. I'd have thrown away 40, 60 pesos, yeah. So get two nice ones and babe, I'll let you pick them. Because if I pick it, she'll tell me to put it down and let her pick it. That one and that one. This one long. All right. Well, why not get the biggest one then? I think. Ooh, okay. Why'd you pick that one? I don't. I think my finger must be a bit cockeyed. Ate said this one is beautiful. Is it? All right then. We'll take that one, Ate. How do you know that? That's more Maganda. How do you yes, know? Maganda. Uh, oh, okay. Very good. I, I like Ate. I like Ate. No, thank you. No, thank you. Do you, wait, do you Mel, do you want? Do you want them? No. She's the boss. She's the boss. Huh? There you see. Now, I didn't give him money because I got something in return for it. But Mel keeps saying no, and I hate to say no, bless him. So we've got a big fish to put on the barbecue. Are we doing this tonight? Uh, 
Yeah. Do it tonight. Okay. Okay. What have I got to pay? You should have money, right? How much is it? A hundred? How much? One hundred. No fish guys, no change, no change, no fish. She mustn't have sold, Ugh. put my teeth in. She mustn't have sold many fish today then. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. She picked good. Yeah. See, what do I know? Thank you, Ate. Thank you, sir. Americano? Americano? British. Americano? My no, God. No, British. <laughs> Just call me Joe. Bless her. Huh? So guys, before you buy, just, I know, just uh, walk around before you buy. Yeah, walk around before you buy. Then ask the stall holder which is the freshest. But not at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, so I know it's, it's a big and one. Yeah. So that's about it, guys. We've come, we bought the fish. I bought some. I'll eat them because I'll just eat them on my own. We can, we can use that also. I'm going to ask the guy how much the fish downstairs. Ah, oh, yeah, see how much that is. I can't understand how the fish downstairs will be more than the fish up in the market. If you come to Naga, you must come round this market, guys. There's so many stalls, so much fresh, fresh stuff. And it's all, it's all quite reasonable, it's not. I've heard from a few subscribers that's been to Naga and other places in the Philippines that Naga's not expensive, but it's not the cheapest place in the Philippines. If you want to make hello hello, ah. you can buy like hello hello. Hello hello. Is yeah. this where your sister comes for her ingredients yeah. then? Yeah. Alright. Because Mel's sister's hello hello is the best in the area. There's a few opened up, gone and got hello hello from the other stalls and then come straight back to her sister because they say it's pang here. <laughs> yeah. Peanuts, I can't eat the peanuts. I'm losing weight again. I'm going to do a fasting day sometime this week, probably. Yeah, you've done. Mel's lost weight. Her belly's gone down really good. So, yeah, that's why I can wear sexy. Yeah. When are you going to wear sexy, by the way? Later. Yeah. <laughs> How many thousands of pesos have I spent on clothes and shoes and underwear? And it's still in your wardrobe that I bought you to put it all in. Oh yeah, we've got to go out, haven't we? <clears throat> well, I want to go on that boat and one of my subscribers, bless him, thank you, is uh, wanting us to go on that boat as well, Mel. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. So when we will go there? Weekend. On weekend. One of our subscribers, I can't even remember his name. How good's that, eh? I tell you, my brain, I come out, I should write it down, I should write it down. Just tell me. Or tell you, that's a better idea, because her brain's young and she remembers things. But it's funny, it's funny guys how she doesn't remember things that she doesn't want to remember. You know, she has this selective memory, aren't you, babe? Yeah. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do another video. I know it's, it's not really... It's sort of connected to Tampo, but it's about if your if your Filipino wife has a bad temper and what do you do and how do you cope with it and stuff like that. 
How about me? How about you? Oh, don't get me started. Is my needs? No, not really. I can't manage. No, I'm being serious. No. When you start, when she's like this, she's an angel. She's lovely. Oh, really? Yeah, but when, when I upset her, my God, I might as well go away for a few hours. Come back and she'll be all right, sort of, depending on what I've done. But that's something you have to cope with with Filipinas, I'm afraid. I know a lot of you guys have written messages and say, oh, I wouldn't cope with that. Well, <laughs> if you're not going to cope with it, then don't come to the Philippines. Because I've not met anybody and asked them, them these questions that say they don't have it in some form or other. But isn't that the same everywhere? You know, UK, US, wherever you go. It's called Tampo here. It's called uh, different things in other countries. So we're going to wrap it up guys at this. I hope you've enjoyed this little walk around. Yeah, Matthew's going to sleep. I love it when he's asleep. He's such an angel. It's when he's awake, it's the problem. So it's over to you, babe. Please hit the like button and please subscribe and share our And don't forget to visit my website at BritainThePhilippines.com. Compliments my friend and patron. Christopher Monk and we'll see you on the next video guys bye, bye. Lions roaring in the morning sun searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping